Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another Matrix Transformations tutorial. Today we're going to talk about what happens when the transformation matrix is singular. So I'm just going to give you guys an example. Now let's say that this is my transformation matrix. If you try to find the determinant of this matrix, you will get 2 times 3 minus 1 times 6 which is uh, 6 minus 6 which is 0 so therefore the inverse of M does not exist so there are two things that's going to happen number one once you have transformed a point into the image you cannot go back to the original point so for example, let the original point be x and y which is 2 and 4. If you transform it using this matrix, you will get um, 2 times 2 is 4, 6 times 4 is 24, so the answer is 28. 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 4 is 12, so the answer is 14. So the image becomes x dash y dash, which is 28, 14. But since there is no way for us to find the inverse of this matrix, uh, there is no way we can go backwards to give us the original point. So, when the transformation matrix is singular, another thing we need to note is that um, we can come up with a general formula for the result of the transformation. So, if you have a look at the transformation matrix multiplied by x and y, what happens is if we simplify the left hand side you get 2x plus 6y as the first um, row and then uh, 1x plus 3y in the second row and then if you write this out in a normal equation you will get 2x plus 6y equals x dash 1x plus 3y equals y dash. Now if you multiply the bottom equation by 2 you will get 2x plus 6y equals 2y dash which means um, 2y dash is equal to x dash right because this part is the same as this part so 2y dash must be the same as x dash and this is the result of our transformation so it doesn't matter what x value or what y value you provide in our um, transformation equation the result will be this line. So I'm going to show you how it works in GeoGebra. So I'm going to program into GeoGebra the transformation matrix um, what was it? 2613 so 2, 6 and 1, 3 so this is matrix 1 and um, I'm going to just assign a random point on the screen so point A and then I'm going to multiply matrix 1 by point A which gives us point B and you can see it doesn't matter where I drag point A around on the screen point B is always on a straight line and if I zoom out a bit you will see that it doesn't matter where I drag point B 
point A, point B is always on the straight line. And the equation of the straight line is, um, I have already found here, is 2y equals x. So if I draw the equation 2y equals x, you can see that point B will stay on this line regardless of where I drag point A. So that's a pretty cool effect. Okay, thanks for watching guys.